a seasoned business administrator, a former political appointee, a hardworking and vibrant individual who makes the contentment of others his utmost concern. Our guest today is a young Nigerian who is redefining the Nigerian creative space, and you'll meet him after this break. This is the Sunday interview. I'm Jaqueli Jado. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Our guest today is an entrepreneur who has carved a niche for himself in the Nigerian creative industry. He is the chief executive officer of a foremost talent agency and event company, Temple Management Company. He is Mr. Idris Oloronibe. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much, Jaka. Okay. And yes, we'll be doing this over some snooker lessons. Sure, I'm taking some lessons Idris from her. here will be giving you <laughs> snooker lessons. All right, so Let's start by putting the ball, Iris. Okay. So after um, you, I think that at this point, um, you guys have to be very nice to me. Mm -hmm. So just in case I don't do well. Okay. So for, for every one ball you get, you'll be so, answering one question. I, I won't get any. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to dedicate myself to making sure I don't get okay, any. Okay. For every ball you miss, you'll be answering one question. Let's okay, go. Let me try to get everything. Okay. You missed Idris. Who is Idris Alonribe? I'm Idris Alonribe. <laughs> so tell me, okay, how did you grow um, up? Where did you grow up? I grew up in, in Lagos. I was born here. Um, I'm, I've been bred here. My parents are from here. Lagos, for me, is um, the best city in the world. And um, it is why we chose Lagos as the global headquarters of temple management. Mm -hmm. It has to be Lagos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so tell me, growing up, did you have influences? Who were your earliest influences? I know your dad was a chief judge in, 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 yes, of, in Lagos, yeah? Of the High Court of in, Lagos. in Lagos, yeah. Yes, so. um, I think um, my parents are my primary um, influencers. But I'm also from um, a polygamous home. So when I was young, I had older brothers and sisters mm -hmm. who were already old enough to to look like super men and super super women to me. Mm -hmm. So I think um, the core of the influence that um, um, makes um, Idris is those first early touch years. points, the early years, and um, it also buttresses what they say about um, the family as being the most important unit yes, yeah. in um, the society. So um, my father, um, discipline, my mom, love. So those would be the first and the strongest influences. So growing up, life. did you have you know funny nicknames your friends used to call oh, you? Yes, I did. Uh, and I'm afraid of saying it on TV. <laughs> Why not? Because, you know, growing up, I don't think any of my siblings or even friends thought that I would ever be this tall. So, um, they used to call me a T. Mm. Because I was very short. Mm. It sounds know? like something that is calabar calabar yes. <laughs> okay. You know, so they used to call me a T, I mean, mm. as a T, because I was very short. So as a grown man now, who are some, you know, some of your role models, people that you say you look up to and you draw inspiration from? Uh, well, um, I have a, I have a few. The one of them is um, the chairman of this company. His name is Tunde Folawio, and um, his reputation precedes him um, when it comes to professionalism and um, and credibility. I think um, he's by far one of the, the the best people that Nigeria can ever put forward. Um, I'm also strongly influenced by my um, former Oga who remains my, my Egmo and my father. 
um, the immediate past governor of Lagos State, who is the current Minister for Power, Works and Housing. Okay. I worked with him for um, about nine years from the campaign till throughout his tenure as governor. You were of Lagos senior State. special assistant? I was in the second term. In the okay. first term, I was personal assistant, okay. and then I was promoted. Mm, I, I, think, promo I, I think I must have done well, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, to senior special assistant um, in the second term. Let me ask you, if you want to get away, what's your getaway point? What is, what do you do for, for leisure? I know you play snooker. But um, aside that, what do you do for leisure? You see, l let me just see, because people know how to play snooker. And, so <laughs> and they will know, they they will see know that you know how to play snooker. <laughs> I think that um, getaway for me is... Um, just being in a very, very quiet place mm. and being able to meditate. Mm. Um, a, a, a perfect getaway would probably be with my family mm. close by. Um, maybe not my children crawling all over mm -hmm, me, mm -hmm. but being able to hear them making in the background. noise in the next room. You know, my, my wife teases me. She doesn't really like to travel with me because I can travel and be in my hotel room for the entire duration of the mm -hmm. trip. Mm -hmm. I've been to Egypt before. And no, when I went to Egypt, I was forced to go and see the, the sites. But I, I, I have been to, I went to Singapore and I didn't visit the Night Zoo or the imagine, Santosa. Imagine. And some people what leave Nigeria. To go. So, I mean, <laughs> what's a waste? Me, for me, I mean, um, the, 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 it's being able to be in like a cocoon and being able to think. And I mean, there's a long road ahead. So you 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 need a clear mind mm. to be able to to see it and to focus. Let me ask you, what would be your best music of all time? Best music ever. I just get too excited anytime you hear it. You know, I have to be biased. Ah, I, I was going to. I was hoping to. Mm. Would be Water and Fire mm. by Bisola and Jeff. <laughs> best movie of all time. Mm, best movie. Um, I think my best movie that I've watched before. I think might be Coming to America. Hmm, way back. Yes. And I saw it again recently and I, you know, it, it, it actually was a celebration of African excellence. Mm -hmm. When Prince Hakim was coming to the United States, the luggage that he brought was, was they had to hide <laughs> on top of the taxi. Mm. And That's extremely African. You know, and so, and we're excellent people. Mm. It's, I don't. I don't really care what anybody says, but I mean, I think uh, that what has just happened is that we have relegated excellence to the back of our mind. So the challenge between you and I is to bring it to the fore. Mm -hmm. But we're excellent people, mm -hmm. and so I think um, coming to America. I think it's high time we take another shot. Let's see if okay. you make I, it this I'll time. I'll make this one. Mm -hmm. I must make this one. Another please, miss. Please. Another miss. Next question. Would you describe yourself as a romantic person? You see, audience, viewers, what has happened is that I think that she's controlling the ball because normally <laughs> I'd have made one by mm, now. Mm -hmm. Sadly so. I, I, uh, I think I will. Mm. I will. I, I, I will. But um, <laughs> I will. I'll answer on that behalf. Yes. I'm, I, I'm actually the most romantic person that you find on the face of the earth. Mm, so tell me one you know, greatly romantic thing you've done ever. Hmm. And it better be to your wife. Okay, yes. When we got married 10 years ago, she... I didn't know about this. But she had spoken to... Tia was the one who hosted the wedding. So she had spoken to Tia and they were supposed to play a game. And part of the game was that they were going to blindfold me. Okay. I don't know. Till today, I've not asked that then what was supposed to happen. Mm. But she didn't know that I had my plans as well. Okay. So she 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 liked Two Face a lot. So and I'd met Two Face we had, we had become friends. So I'd arranged for Two Face to come as a surprise mm. guest or artist at the wedding. So Which is romantic we, anyway. we, we turned yeah. it on her. Mm. So Tia told her to sit down. And, you know, she was telling me that when Tia told her to sit down, she was I, thinking I, I, that, I, 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 ah, did you read the instructions? <laughs> and then he told me to go and um, cover her face. And then I covered her eyes with my hands. 
and then Two Face came on the stage, wow. and then you know, yeah, 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 yeah to, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then um, in fact, one of the photographers got that photo of when I removed my oh, hand and she looked wow. and she saw him, you know. So I think that um, I, I still, I, I think mm. I scored everlasting points. Yeah. That. So what inspires you? Where do you draw inspiration from? I think now my my greatest inspiration is from knowing that um, African excellence is achievable and that we are going to be at the forefront of it. So I think my inspiration is today is uh, being able to contribute very, very significantly to our Nigerian economy and with the um, other um, companies in the other parts of Africa be able to do, to replicate for, the, for our continent. Mm. So I think that's my greatest inspiration now. So you studied law? I did. At what point did you decide that that was not the way to go for you? Maybe after my first lecture in... <laughs> <laughs> Nigeria. I think the, the, our first course was, was it? I'm not even sure I remember anymore. But in year one, you know, you used to take a lot of elective yeah, courses. Yeah, courses from everywhere. One, mm -hmm, course, mm -hmm. one law course. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, but I was able to win that. And then second year, law of contract, law of this, <laughs> law of that. And I'm like, and mm. why did I want to study law? It was because my dad yeah, daddy was, was a lawyer. Mm -hmm. and, then mm -hmm. he, and everybody he expects you to, maybe. You know, they, they, no, there was no pressure. Really? But I have a brother who's a lawyer. I have sisters who are lawyers. So it was a family tradition. They, they, law, let's go. So by the time I got into it, ah, law. But I, I, if I could rewind, I'll study law again mm. because who is a lawyer? A lawyer is a problem solver, and with everyday life, that's what life, life I'm living mm -hmm, is about. Mm -hmm. there, everybody has a dream career. Mm -hmm. If you're not doing this and you're not doing law, what will you be doing? Please don't tell if, me conductor. If, <laughs> if I was not doing either of those two, I think that I might be. I might be maybe writing movies or maybe even acting in movies. Mm. I think that because I actually, um, <clears throat> and it was somewhat residual, but I, I, the people who are closest to me, when I finally said this was what I wanted to do, they thought that this was what they thought I you could have been doing yeah, of, in the course of the year. I, I didn't know. All right, time to put that last ball. Let's see if you would make any success. I will make a success this time. <laughs> and I'm, 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 I'm relinquishing my control over the balls. Yes. So, oh, you see now. We're going to show breakdown no, when now, we come what? back. <laughs> we'll be speaking with Idris Olorunipe. Stay with us.